I'm Dr. Sumana Kola Ramachandra, working as a Chief of Liver Transplant and Consultant HBB Surgery at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Eshwantur. In a living donor liver transplantation, the surgery happens simultaneously, wherein uh, the living donor is taken into the OT first and uh, the liver is looked at and if the liver is okay, the recipient is also taken into the OT. So the, in the living donor transplantation, the liver is actually split and either the right or the left lobe is decided prior to the surgery and the splitting takes about 5 to 6 hours and simultaneously the liver which the patient who the recipient is also on the other side where the damaged liver is taken out. So when both of them are ready simultaneously, the liver from the recipient is taken out and the graft which is to be transplanted is taken out from the donor. And the, there is about 20 minutes time wherein the liver with the graft which is taken out of the donor is prepared to put into the recipient. Recipient is the patient here. So once that is all ready, the graft which is taken from the donor and it is prepared, which is actually implanted. Implantation means the vessels are joined in such a way that, that there is blood flow into the graft and the, there is an outflow. So this is all vascular surgery which is done in the recipient. And once the graft is actually implanted, the blood flow is allowed to flow through the new graft and the liver then starts functioning in the, the patient. So after all this is done, then we do the anastomosis for the bile duct. And once the bile duct is anastomosis is done, then we look at hemostasis to see that there is no bleeding anywhere else. And then the closure of the abdomen is done. This is the whole transplantation procedure. And this generally takes somewhere between 7 to 10 or 12 hours. In a cadaver transplantation, what happens is the organ comes from a brain dead individual. And this can be either in the same hospital or it can be a different hospital. So once the donation process starts or the donor's organs are looked at and if they are in good quality organs, the recipient surgery starts in their respective hospitals and the donor liver is taken and either it is taken or flown in or sometimes or by road and generally the time period between taking out the organ in a cadaver and implantation for a liver will be somewhere between for 5 to sort of 8 to 9 hours. The ideal time will be less than 7 hours and this coordination is done by the doctors and once the liver is brought into the hospital where the recipient surgery is taking place, the organ is implanted. That means the vascular blood supply is all sewn in into the new, uh, the new liver is sewn into, into the recipient and it is perfused with the recipient's blood. So now the liver starts functioning, it can start functioning immediately or it can take some time and the bile duct anastomosis is finally done and the hemostasis that is uh, you check for blood uh, you know, bleeding anywhere and all this is done and then the procedure ends with the closure of the abdomen. This is in general for an overview of what happens during a liver transplant surgery both in the living donor and the cadaver transplantation.